Boston Dynamics was founded at the MIT in 1992. In 2004, Boston Dynamics launched Big Dog, the first quadruped robot that walked out of the laboratory and entered the real terrain. Humans are full of hope for this company, but its commercialization is not smooth. In 2013, Boston Dynamics was acquired by Google and in 2017 by SoftBank Group. In 2020, it was acquired by Hyundai Motor Company of South Korea. It's like an old man with a technology patent has become a homeless person. At the same time, in 2006, 16-year-old Wang Xingxing took the junior high school entrance exam, but he almost failed to get into high school because of his poor English. In 2009, Wang barely got into Zhujiang SciTech University to study bipedal robots. He has shown a strong interest in robots since he was a child. In 2011, Wang developed a dexterous hand prototype in which each finger had four active degrees of freedom. In 2013, Wang was admitted to Shanghai University as a graduate student. Under the guidance of his tutor, Wang developed the X-Dog quadruped robot. In 2015, Wang announced his electric drive solution for X-Dog, while Boston Dynamics did not announce its electric drive solution until 2016. Before that, Boston Dynamics had always used a hydraulic solution. Later, Wang took his own X-Dog to participate in the Shanghai Robot Design Competition and won a prize of 80,000 yuan. In June 2016, Wang graduated with a master's degree. In August 2016, after working for the drone giant DJI for more than two months, an investor approached him to invest in his quadruped robot products. So Wang decided to quit his job and start his own business. He founded Unitree Technology in Hangzhou, Zhujiang, to research low-cost quadruped robot products, and he served as CEO and CTO at the same time. In October 2017, Wang led Unitree to release the company's first robot dog. In 2018, Unitree began to receive orders for robot dogs. In 2019, Unitree released the four-legged robot Lycago Pro. In June 2021, Unitree released the robot dog Go One. In February 2023, Unitree began to enter the field of humanoid robots. Unitree adopted the technology asset reuse strategy to directly transfer the modular joint technology of the robot dog to the research and development of humanoid robots, shortening the R&D cycle and reducing material costs. So on August 15th, 2023, Unitree released its first general humanoid robot H1, priced at 650,000 yuan. On May 13th, 2024, Unitree released G1 with a starting price of 99,000 yuan. The price is lower than any similar robot before. In comparison, the cost of early humanoid robots from Honda, General Motors, and even Boston Dynamics is $2 million or more. Tesla Optimus is expected to drop to $20,000 to $30,000 after mass production in 2026, but it is not yet on the market. According to data from Gaogong Robot Industry Research Institute, Unitree's robot dogs account for 69.75% of the sales share of the global robot dog market. Since its establishment, Unitree has been promoting the commercialization of robots. Therefore, the company strictly controls costs and enriches application scenarios. What efforts have they made? Controlling costs does not mean limiting wages. They have demonstrated strong innovation capabilities. They have developed core components such as high-energy density motors and reducers, used electric drive modular joints, and relied on China's mature industrial chain to achieve rapid mass production. Maybe you don't understand how far China's manufacturing industry has developed. Now there is a slogan in China's manufacturing industry that we should make cars and fighter jets like we make mobile phones. Unitree considers user needs and quickly iterates technology. It took only three years from developing a four-legged robot dog to making a humanoid robot, while Boston Dynamics' similar R&D cycle is more than 10 years. Unitree's four-legged robot dogs have been widely used in education, security, logistics, and other fields. The H1 robot can complete high-speed running and complex dance movements through AI self-learning and achieve simulation optimization on the NVIDIA GPU platform. In order to take care of the emotions of the Chinese people, Unitree even made a football robot, G1 Comp, which can complete actions such as running and shooting. So we are witnessing the birth of new technology giants. Just like DJI, why are they successful again?
In 1988, former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping proposed the policy of science and technology are the primary productive forces. Since then, Chinese society has been filled with the desire for advanced manufacturing capabilities. Both state-owned funds and commercial investment institutions have a keen sense of new technologies. When Wang Xingxing posted a video of the robot dog online, commercial investors saw the business opportunity and took the initiative to find him to invest. At that time, Wang was just an intern. When his company had initial results, he received huge financial support. The industrial policies formulated by the Chinese government have promoted state-owned enterprises and commercial investment institutions to invest funds in the robot industry chain. In 2021, the Chinese government formulated the 14th five-year plan for the development of the robot industry, proposing that by 2025, the average annual growth rate of the robot industry's revenue will exceed 20%, and breakthroughs will be made in core component technology. In 2023, the Chinese government formulated the guiding opinions on the innovation and development of humanoid robots, with the development goal of achieving mass production of humanoid machines by 2025 and cultivating two to three ecological enterprises with global influence. By 2027, the humanoid robot industry will form a safe and reliable supply chain, accelerate the realization of large-scale development, and related products will be deeply integrated into the real economy becoming an important new engine of economic growth. If the United States is accustomed to restricting China's technological development by restricting trade, just like banning the supply of chips to China, it must consider the consequences of doing so. Now, when China decides to develop an industry, supply chain security will be mentioned first. They have learned from the training of Huawei mobile phones and are worried that European and American companies will suddenly tear up the contract and stop delivering source components. Therefore, in the humanoid robot industry, from chips to control motors, Chinese companies are participating. When policies, funds, and supply chains are integrated together, we will find that China's humanoid robot industry has ushered in an explosion. In 2024, 41 humanoid robot companies in China completed 56 rounds of financing. China itself has dozens of humanoid robot companies competing. And China's huge market can accommodate these companies to iterate technology. It is hard for us to even imagine how humanoid robots will evolve in five years. But Chinese news media and industry researchers lack confidence. A research report in 2022 wrote that Tesla is the leader in the field of humanoid robots. When a Chinese company makes a major breakthrough, Chinese media and social commentary will severely criticize it, saying, no, you are not the most advanced, you must be calm, and foreign countries have more advanced technology. So, given the brutal technical sanctions and market restrictions, Chinese entrepreneurs will understand that they are competing with the whole world outside of China. When they want to promote themselves as leading, they must master the technology that is 50 years ahead of the world. So Chinese engineers no longer argue with the media and quietly study their own technology. So when Unitree started to tour the world with robots, the Chinese and Chinese media were surprised to say, where is Yu Shu's company who is Wang Xingxing? Oh, he is so young. But the robot is just a toy now, you have to keep working hard. But the Chinese government discovered and encouraged these entrepreneurs. In February 2021, Wang's quadruped robot was invited to participate in the CCTV Spring Festival Gala, China's most watched TV program. In 2025, Unitree Robot H1 appeared again on CCTV Spring Festival Gala, performing a creative fusion dance. On February 17, 2025, China's top leader Xi Jinping held a private enterprise forum with participants including Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei, BYD chairman Wang Chuanfu, Xiaomi founder Lei Jun, Tencent founder Ma Huareng, DeepSeek founder Liang Wenfeng, Alibaba founder Jack Ma, CATL chairman Zheng Yuchuan and other China's most famous entrepreneurial tycoons. Among them, the youngest founder of Yushu Technology, Wang Xingxing, delivered a speech. This is a positive signal that China is full of information about the future development of science and technology.